They call me the man from Roth. What does that mean? Well, Roth IRA, named after Senator William Roth of Delaware, long uh, deceased, late senator. And it is true. I do love the Roth IRA and the Roth 401k. And the great news on the Roth IRA is the income limits that allowed you to qualify used to be so stinking low, and now those have gone up and up and up. The amount you can contribute gone up. So both the amount you can contribute to a Roth higher in 24, the income that qualifies you to get a full ability to contribute to a Roth up as well. I'm going to explain how that works. Why do I love the Roth so much? Well, because the money you put in the Roth is what you have that grows tax-free and you spend tax-free. When you contribute to a traditional IRA, traditional 401k, you don't have the money you think you have when you hit retirement because everything in that account in retirement, what you contributed, everything you've earned over the years, it's all subject to tax. And if you talk to people that are 65 and over, they'll tell you about the dreaded Medicare tax that you face an increase in. And it's, it's not technically a tax, but it's a much higher premium you have to pay for Medicare when you have a lot of money in traditional IRAs, traditional 401ks, and you don't face that tax when you have money in Roth IRAs and Roth 401ks, because that's what generally will produce that very high tax. So yeah, you don't get a tax deduction up front, but you get the long-term growth in that money that you put in after tax, and all the money you have is yours to spend down the road. So the Roth, you're allowed to put seven grand in this year, less your over age 50, you can put eight grand in. So almost $600 a month you can put into a Roth IRA over the course of a year. And now you are allowed to contribute to a Roth IRA for a single individual. You lose your eligibility starting at just a little under $150,000 in income. Now, no, a lot of people are saying, I wish I had $150,000 in income. But at that point, the government, in its infinite wisdom, punishes you for making more money and then disallows you being able to save in a Roth IRA. For a married couple, it's $230,000. So in other words, most individuals, most married couples, make obviously less than those amounts of money Thus, you're eligible to do a Roth IRA. Again, seven grand for an individual, eight grand for an individual who's 50 and over. And here's the thing if you are uncertain as an individual or as a couple, what kind of income you're going to have in 24, you can wait to make a Roth contribution till 25 before you file your income tax return. And as long as your income is below the thresholds, you're good to go. Otherwise, you have to, it's a mess to, to shut down that money in that Roth after the fact. You don't want to have to get into that. And so that's why if you are close to the income limits, you should wait to make the contribution next year for this year. Otherwise, set it up where you... Put money in every pay period, every month, something like that. Automatic makes it happen. Intentions often don't get done.